What's up YouTube, Sean here, gonna show you guys how to play Magic Chances Stolen Dance today, breaking down those cool little chord progressions we hear. There's only two of them, that's why I'm already zoomed in. There's not a lot to cover in this song, but we're using almost all bar chords today. So I thought it'd be best if I just show them to you as we come across them. Please check the description, you'll find all the tabs we need for these chords as well as the chord progressions that I am playing. And then you can hit my Facebook and Twitter links and then hit that subscribe button if you learned something today and you want more lessons just like this one. Alright, so you heard me play the first pattern, here's how it goes again. Alright, so the first chord is G sharp minor. We're playing this on the E string. Bar across fret four on all six strings with your first and second finger. Your third and fourth fingers have fret six on the A and D strings. Strum all six strings to get that sound. Okay, after G sharp minor, we're gonna hit F sharp major, which is down here, barring across fret two this time. Fingers three and four have fret four of the A and D string. All we're adding really is this second finger on the third fret of the G string. Makes it a major bar chord. That's an F sharp major. Then we go to E major, standard E major open chord. Your first finger is on fret six or uh, fret one, I don't know why I said fret six. Your first finger's on fret one of the G string. Your second finger's on fret two of the A string. Your third finger's on fret two of the D string. There we go. E major. So those first three chords again. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The first two chords are in the first measure, and then E is in measure two all by itself. B major is the next chord. First finger on the second fret of the A string, and your third finger has fret four of the D, G, and B strings. So it's those four notes. You don't really have to bar this one. I have a hard time getting the top note of the bar. So I don't even worry about it. You guys don't have to worry about it either. That's all we need for a B major chord. And then we're on to D sharp seven. So this one's gonna be like a C7. If you guys know how to make, make a C7 down here, you can make that shape up here too. So first finger is on fret four of the B string. Second finger is on fret five of the D string. Third finger is on fret six of the A string. Fourth finger is on fret six of the G string. That's how you make that chord. D sharp seven. And B and D sharp seven each have one measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G sharp minor, F sharp, E. B, D sharp seven. I'm kind of doing this strum pattern that emphasizes the upbeats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm doing that by palm muting and then doing a bigger strum on those and beats. One and two and three and four and. So, once you go around a couple times, you're gonna hang on the D sharp seven for three measures instead of, instead of one measure. And then you're gonna go to That 
step progression, which is really the same progression, just starting on the E instead of the G sharp minor. So watch, it's gonna, it's gonna be E, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, D sharp, seven, two, three, four, G sharp minor, F sharp, two, three, four. So it's really the same thing. Kind of giving it a little bluegrassy strum. Not that great at arpeggiating notes, so. You can just do that. I'm going down, 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 one and two e and three and four e and. So you're going to hang on the G sharp minor. Go to the F sharp and then you're back. It's kind of like a teaser. They go down, but they don't go to the E. They go back up and then start muting things. Like that. So again, when you're going from the first progression which is the muted one that starts on G-sharp. To get to the next one, you're gonna hang on the D-sharp seven for three measures, and then it starts on E. And then when you're gonna go from the second progression back to the first, you're gonna play the G-sharp minor for longer. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I'm pretty sure it might be like three or four measures. And then go to the F-sharp like you would be going down to E, but then you don't, you just start out on the G sharp minor again, and then start from there. So you're gonna see all of that in the description if you guys are lost at all, if that doesn't quite make perfect sense. You can check it out in the description, and if that doesn't help either, send me a message or comment, and I'll get back to you. Um, that's gonna be it for this lesson. My name is Sean, please subscribe again if you want more lessons like this, doing one lesson every day. You guys will get lots of tunes if you subscribe, so I, I recommend it if you're learning guitar and want Lots of songs to play. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is Sean again. I'll see you guys next time.